<laughs> Once again, with a new stream. Bam, timestamp. Whoa, that one was quick, wasn't it? Uh, with the new stream of Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms, and I just have to, you know, take care of that chest window stuff. Um, yeah, I I was quick today with <laughs> the timestamp. Um, Diana. It's Diana time. Uh, hold on, I should probably go full screen here. Uh -huh. Yeah, and it's the great Modron March again. It's uh, a new event. It's not a new event, but I mean, the event is starting again. It's time for a new event. That's called the Great Modern March, which definitely isn't. Hold on, is my phone already going crazy? Yeah, probably is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, sorry. Um, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Um. And yeah, we have, we do have a new champion and that's uh, Diana. Diana is part of the Saturday morning squad. And it's Wednesday, but I think that's okay. Okay, that was, that was bad. That was bad. Let's start a new. <laughs> no. Um, let's not start a new, let's just check my longest running background party ever and see how it performed just like normal. I mean, uh, with checking it like 10 minutes ago, <laughs> I'm just going to throw in, yeah, I know, I know, I know, there's a some strad uh, chests. I'm just going to throw in um, Strongheart to um, scavenge some uh, event tokens. Nope, not even. Okay, they're at their max. Um, yeah, but anyway. Um, that's okay for me. Uh, I just finished some a uh, two Strat uh, variants that gave me some awesome uh, Strat experience that will definitely help with this event today. Uh, I would say that we just going to race through uh, the first adventures and unlock uh, Diana and then let's see how well she performs um, at the beginning of an event you you don't race through areas uh, well not as as fast as you use Two. Wow, that one's good. What's a ginger ale? Spicy and what? What was it? Spicy and natural. Man, that's good. Yeah, that's not my other beloved ginger ale, but that one's well. Uh, yeah. Um, that we should probably get the first three adventures of Diana like real quick. So I'm just running one 
background party here. Um, the one I'm running for over a month now. Um, and I'm just going to amp that one. In the foreground, I'm running those advantages on my fast car, which is not only my fastest car, hence the name, but it's also my strongest car. Uh, and it's going to be even stronger as soon as I've got those last two. Two. It's now two. Definitely two last overused tiles. Okay. Grandma got a great rework. Um, we'll see about that later. Uh, hopefully t today. And um, yeah, let's check out Diana. Okay, we've got. Oh, I are. Oh, okay. Hmm. That's an interesting formation. Compared to the Grumma formation. Okay, we we got two tanks. One and the second column. Uh, row even. No, column. It's, it's column from right to left, actually. Um, always coming from the tanks to the left. And then we've got three. But... There's one spot missing. Two and two. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. But that means we only need two tanks. I'm really I'm really not not happy with the situation we have uh with tanks or I have with tanks, um that is. Uh but let's get the Laura out. Not because we don't love her. I mean, everyone loves her. Uh, <laughs> now that she's not uh, bucked anymore. But I don't want her sprint stacks to go to waste. Uh, let's throw in maybe, I don't know doesn't matter all that much. I was not thinking about uh, Lysel, but okay. Oh, hello there. You came right in time. <laughs> I'm still at area one. And on my first run, uh, the mechanical menace and unlocking Diana. Um, yeah, we're gonna leave Lysel. Come on. Why not? We're even gonna throw in BBEG. 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 I mean. Hello there. Um, yeah. Gonna try to get things done as quickly as possible not my stupid phone is scaring me <laughs> no it's not but it almost tells me that I'm online you know uh, Evendra Okay, why not give her some love from time to time? Have her as the second tank. I mean, that's absolutely not our uh, final formation, so to say. Hey, Fee! Hi! Hey, yeah! Uh. And greetings to Brazil. How are you today? How are you?
Um, blah, 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 let me think. Let me think. It doesn't actually matter much. <clears throat> I mean, it matters a lot to me how you are. It just doesn't matter much which champions I'm going to throw in now. <laughs> I hope you didn't get that wrong. Um, buff, 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 buff. Yeah, definitely going to use Shandy. Although I think Shandy will be too late. Yeah, same here. Labor stay. Yeah, at least that's what it's called here in Austria. And I had it, uh, I actually, well, yeah. Oh, yeah, so you have it there too, yeah, cool. Yeah, technically I had a day off today too, but I was working anyway. So, um, yeah, but uh, uh, me and I didn't complain, so it's all good. <laughs> Great to have you here again. Oh, let's throw in gas wreck. Because of his, I don't know. His blue hat. Did you unlock um, Diana already? Because I just came home, so I didn't have time yet. Uh, you mean for this adventure? Let me think. Okay, we have Brunner. Then we have Celeste. Celeste definitely needs to go to... Huh. Yeah. Like that. Like that. Okay, then we have Nyaili, hopefully, there, as a tank. Then we have Jalaxl. Jalaxl doesn't really matter much, all too much, where you uh, position him because he doesn't have that many uh, positional f uh, abilities. Uh, Nyaili definitely as a tank, of course. <coughs> then I would uh, play Celeste and the second uh, column counting from the tanks. Um, he, I, I don't know. I mean, his his item levels are better for me because I mean he's an evergreen. So I would say. Um, He's easier to handle. Definitely easier. Because you don't have to think mm, so much about his 
positional abilities he only got one his rally ability where he increases the damage of everyone in his uh column uh yeah in his column um yeah so i would as a new player i would definitely use brunner over uh gale absolutely absolutely depending <clears throat> depending on how high your item levels are And in my case, I would still say no, but Gale definitely has potential. And I wouldn't even say his potential is all about damage, but also his uh, abjuration ability, where he deflects attacks from your tanks this is really awesome at higher um, higher uh, areas so your tanks don't get hit all the time but only half the time <laughs> it's still weight weight and enough um, but yes I prefer Brunner over Gale yes I do, absolutely. Okay, let's see. This is one heck of a tricky formation with only evergreen champions. Huh, okay. Okay, um, Delina n needs to go and the last column because the more champions are ahead of her the higher her damage is hello there again um phew. But that's a tricky formation. <laughs> I love that question, Fee. I really love it. it. Makes me think, you know. Think a bit outside the box. I'm sure about Niaeli. I'm sure about Brenner. I'm sure about Delina. And that's it. <laughs> um, poo. So if this happens to be Hello Crack. Hello there. Uh, hmm. Okay, and I'm I'm sure about Chalaxel that Chalaxel doesn't really matter much where you put him. Then we need Makers. Well. Our damage dealer is going to be in Minsk if we only use Evergreens. Well, in my case, just uh, when it comes to item levels, etc. <coughs> I'm sorry. It's going to be Minsk. It just has the uh, highest item levels for me and, and, and the highest damage. So it's probably a good idea to place him 
next to Celeste with her crusader mantle and below or above that doesn't really matter below or above and the same column as Brainer so he can profit from those two uh, formational abilities and not place him adjacent to Makus so he can profit from his uh, dark blessing I was about to say dark luck but it's dark blessing ability okay now we have another pro a problem are we gonna use Tyrrell as our second tank or Archon I would say we're gonna stick to Archon because he got at least some um, gold find increase yeah but at lower areas that's it's almost a draw I would say Yeah, and then, yeah, that's it. So I would place, I would actually place Archon here, above Nayeli, because Archon is a good DPS champion as well. So he profits from Celeste's Crusader Mantle as well. Yeah, that's that's about it, I would say. <coughs> <coughs> Did you unlock new uh, other champions yet, Fee? Woohoo! A whopping 550 <laughs> favor increase. Hooray! Well, it's better than nothing. And that's almost the end of our first adventure of Diana not with Diana but unlocking Diana and the last bus and then we have a quick restart and just race through the other variants as well But um, um, oh, I love that sight, you know, unlocking Diana. How cool is that? Uh, hello again. <laughs> and again. Okay, I'm gonna finish that one and we're gonna start the first variant of Diana. Because why? Because we can. <laughs> yes.
it already says deadly. I highly doubt that. Okay. Diana starts in the formation. She can't be moved, but not removed. Makes sense. You may only use champions that have a dexterity of 15 or higher. That means Artemis. Yay. An age of 20 or less. Or to total ability score of 78 or less. Okay. Okay, that sounds doable. Yeah, we can definitely use Artemis. Oh, she looks cool. Man, she looks cool. She really does. And she swaps with Makers. Well, let me just, you know, hold on, hold on. Holy. Those Nord runs, mod runs are attacking so fast. Okay. Like that again, like before. Like with it before. Bruno. Yeah, like that. Maybe. Uh, Rup, Chalaxel, Calliope. Let's see. Javelin Staff. Diana base attack. Javelin Staff knocks around enemies. She hits based on where she is positioned in a column in the formation okay can we get like you know a bit more information about that okay then at level 60 we already got our first choice acrobatic assault love it diana increases the damage of all champions with a dex of 15 or higher by 100 percent Great for Artemis. Modest Might, where she increases the damage of all champions with a total ability score of 78 or less. Okay. And Fletch Fletchling Fury. Diana increases the damage of all champions that are 20 years old or younger by 20%. But I don't know many champions that are younger. And Diana is only 14. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know many champions that are younger than... What was it? 20? 20. Okay. Cool. Or not so cool. I, I still don't know what to make of it. But let me check Icy Bike Low for a bit and see what Icy Bike Low says about the age of our uh, champions. Uh, where are we? Champions. Um, it doesn't let me. Ah, okay. Here we go. Uh, H twenty. Okay, we've got Donar, Xander, Faraday. Warden, Spurt, Quillic, Sentry, Havilar, uh, that's Nova, Latsaps, Rhea, Dani, Imoen, Nixie, Certainty Dran, and Presto. Okay, that's actually, a, okay, that's good, that's good. <coughs> I thought there were fewer than that, but that sounds like a good, good
good choice. Oh, why didn't anyone tell me that I haven't placed all familiars? Uh, but hmm, they are not really evenly distributed. The three champions that are younger than 20 and seed five. Okay, other than that, and three of them are in seed 11. With Immo and No uh, and and Warden, ah, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I really don't. Okay, we probably should use Tyrell now. Sophie, did you unlock? Uh, any other champions besides the uh, core champions yet? Let me quickly check her feeds. They don't show up yet. Okay, she's a support and speed champions, and I love speed champions. And she's actually the only, well, yeah, if you don't count, no, you can't count him. And she's actually the the only champion, uh, speed champion in that uh, bench slot. That's cool. But I was hoping for another tank, but oh well. Oh well. I mean, you can always, you know, wish. <laughs> And those first uh, adventures are really, or variants are really um, tedious, to say the least. And I'm so excited about uh, grammar, the new grammar. And I'm definitely going to use Tahira. And then I'm not sure. It's probably going to be Criddle. Criddle and Oof, Evelyn. Yeah. Criddle and Evelyn. But let's see. I still need to, to build up favor quickly. Switching back to my other formation just to see if Strongheart. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. He didn't get any event tokens, did he? Nope, they're red max, okay. So that wasn't a, a bug. I can in fact start uh, a second party and, and doing grammar. But nah, nah, haven't got enough favor yet. 
God's favor. I got a, a nice favor increase today, uh, four hundred and eighty percent. All right. Put it into Corellon, and I'm going to have a nice one hundred and twenty. Where is it, Bahamut? A one hundred and twelve, but that's going going up a bit tomorrow up to 120 I think uh, from uh, Trials of Antiomad runs this is an awful formation really <laughs> it's awful It's really off. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, two tanks. Celeste is more or less useless. We can't use Tahira. Well, in this uh, uh, vari uh, variant, no birdsong. Who? Okay. Interesting formation, to say the least. Interesting. I hope Fee didn't uh, f fall off the screen. Nope, he obviously did, didn't. Well, I'm sorry, that was a hiccup. Oh, come on, Area 75. Seriously? And favor is going up qu more quickly than in other uh, adventures or in other campaigns. But that's always the case in, in event uh, favors. I could probably just do the rest with click damage, but oh, nope, nope, that won't work, nope. I again have to check something with that. The age restrictions. <sighs> hmm. Okay. I mean, it, it says, uh, that have a dexterity of 15 or higher, an age of 20 or less, or a total, a total ability score of 78 or less. So it's uh, one of those three conditions and that's, that's okay. So yeah, we can use Artemis. Probably have to worry about that. Uh, 
on tier three or four. Definitely at tier four. And not before. Oh, oh, oh. oh shoot, that was a bad pun. And the infamous over ambitious city guard goes down. <laughs> but didn't if even level uh, Diana up yet? Not even close to it. Yeah, talking about low favor, but that's okay. We just started the event, so uh, that comes at no big surprise. And I didn't level any other champions because I'm gonna make it to uh, area 75 anyway so I just sit back and relax you know ah, whoa. Ah. yep and I can't really say much about Diana yet because that's everything I know. That she increases the damage of champions with uh that said conditions I wonder what her uh speed ability is or abilities oh let's see let's see let's see Wait, what? Holy! Do I read that right? Diana can help scavenge up to 20 additional electrum chests when killing bosses. Well, this cap is not reached. Diana has a 0%. Okay, well, that's zero i hope but uh chance of scattering one electron chest each time a bus drops a loot bag and the cap increases by 0 0.5 every day so that means 3.5 electron chests three electron chests per week okay it's better than nothing I mean, come on. It's better than nothing. It's cool. Okay. I can totally see her in that background party. <laughs> where presto is scavenging stuff where um strongheart is scavenging stuff sorbo gets his killed kills donny gets her paints torga gets his sealots 
Black Viper gets her gems. Chang Xiao got gets her uh, stars, and certainly Duran got gets her reboots. Yeah, I can totally see her there. That's gonna be awesome. Three to four Electrum tests per week. Okay. Yeah, why not? I could be a bit higher. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it, it it's all good. I mean, three, two, four per week. Okay, I'm going to throw in. No, I'm not. I was about to say I'm going to throw in um, Tyrell. Well, I just wait and see what happens. <laughs> I want to see her her next up to upgrades. But I simply can't. Unlocks additional upgrades. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Keep me in suspense. Cool. And again, unlocks additional upgrades. Thank you very much. Okay, her ultimate will be her Javelin Staff Throw. It's probably gonna look cool. And I really like the way she she looks. She totally fits into the style of the the evergreen champions, at least. And I love that. Hello there. Because as much as I like, uh, for example, uh, Donar, he he just doesn't seem to fit in for me. That is. And hello again. Hello everyone. Yeah, but that's just probably me. <laughs> so coxy. Did I pronounce it right? Oh, hi, Jack. <laughs> hey, Jack. Yeah, he does, he does, he does, definitely. <laughs> uh, I mean, what you okay, what you is the what you you know, um. Win Ursa, a blast point. Um, eh, I don't know. But the cutest of them all for me is Elowick. I so love Elowick. Elowick is so cute.
that sounded wrong somehow, but <laughs> yeah, I think she looks cute. Okay, hooray! You have completed Acrobat. And we even got a 800, a whopping 800 and almost 50% favor increase. Hooray! Which means almost nothing in the beginning, but still better than nothing. Child of the Stargazer. Okay. Uh, Diana starts in the formation once again. She can be moved but not removed. Makes sense again. Kozar tries the formation. Oh, come on, no. If Kozar is defeated, you automatically fail the area. Okay, you, you fail the area. Kozar cheers on Diana, reducing her base attack cooldown by 50%. Thank you very much. Huh, okay. Can you figure out how to best protect Kozar? Maybe put her in the front row? That's just a wild guess. I know there are collections available. What 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 bubbly bop? So check. Did you do you have a lot of experience with Diana already? Because I don't. <laughs> I simply don't. Um, um, we don't need two tanks this time, so we can use Omen, maybe, or maybe go for Wyconia this time. Oh, she's human, okay. Hmm. Boop, 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 boop. That's going to be interesting. That's going to be interesting. Really interesting. I already disliked that formation. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I mean, there's not even a great spot for uh, Omen. Yeah, same like everyone else, yeah. Ah, shoot. Omen got like three adjacent champions at max of course I still can put Evelyn like here but but so uh, ah, sorry I don't like that formation <laughs> It's going up to 122, so I'm going to throw in uh, a Clawians and a Speed Potion just to speed things up. And I'm so amazed by this ginger ale. It's, wow. So great. Love it. Oh. 
maybe have Chalaxel and his uh, Master of Piracy. Baylot, Baylot got a buff this week. Huh. Ah, doesn't really matter much. <clears throat> I really want to know about her speed upgrade. But obviously still lacking uh, the event favor, so yeah, probably overnight. Let it run overnight and, and see what happens. Did that ogre just shoot? Diana? Or Kaz? No, Kozar. Kozar. Yeah. We are getting there slowly but surely. Okay. Yeah, and I love her animations. I mean, I'm I'm having a, a a speed potion right now, and I'm running on my fast core. So, um, but still, she, it it looks like she's attacking really really fast with that javelin. Love it. Looks great. But <laughs> there's there's one thing that I really find funny when it got stuck, when the animation got stuck. No, uh, it's the way they work, they, they, they walk, you know, like dip, 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 that, that looks funny. And it doesn't matter which champion It looks funny in all of them, <laughs> but in a very, very positive way, absolutely positive way. Well, okay, well, the first spe specialization, that's a pretty hard word to pronounce. Um, One that doesn't really matter at the moment. Wait, what? Diana increases the speed of area transitions by 50%? That look... <laughs> That's cool. Because even uh, even when I'm using my very speedy formation with like Shandy, Virgil, um, Lysel, uh, BBEG, etc. It's in fact 
it's the the area transitions that take up time. So let's see. Oh, well. Okay. Woo! That looks a lot better. I mean, it only works in the foreground, obviously, but, uh, but still. Oh, and meanwhile, they tell me about that javelin stuff. Okay, top of column. Uh, she knocks back and she knocks back and towards the bottom of the screen a short distance. The enemy targets the nearest champion after being knocked back. Okay, bottom of column, knock back and towards the top of screen a short distance. The enemy targets the nearest champion after being knocked back. Single slot column, knock back a medium distance. Doesn't say anything about what the enemy targets afterwards. And middle of column, knock back towards the formation knock towards the formation of short distance. That might come in handy um, with, uh, uh, let me think, Penelope and her start time stacks. Just to, you know, pull in, uh, especially buses, I mean, only buses, and to those insect swarms. Yay, yay, totally gonna use it or try it. Holy, that's actually pretty, pretty fast. There's transitions now. Huh. But why does it say it caps at 400%? Oh, because we probably get upgrades. Yep, we'll be right back. Is already at max? Or am I missing something? No. Okay. Oh, and we maybe just maybe gonna unlock her first feet okay let's see the next shit i hate that word specialization there you go ensemble cars diana's inspiration relies on how the team works together there is no i in team yeah, uh, that <laughs> increases the effect of her inspire specialization choice by 100% for each champion it affects, stacking multiplicatively. Okay, in Spotlight episode, she focuses on how one champion stands out from the rest. There is the eye and team. That increases the effect of her Inspire specialization choice by 140 for each champion it does not affect. Stacking multiplicatively. Okay, that's, that's going to be interesting with Warduke. <laughs> oh, hold on. No, Warduke is in the same. No, he isn't. That, that's going to be interesting with you because he inverts uh, your formational um, positional abilities.
that's going to be confusing as hell. Uh, let's just use, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Because why not? We unlocked her ultimate. Diana throws her javelin stuff, dealing ultimate damage 10 times to random enemies and stunning them for 5 seconds. Oh, the stunning is stunning. Okay. It is positional. Did I read something? Ah, uh, okay. Now, uh, uh, okay. Sorry, sorry. I take that. I take that back. I take that back. The Inspire specializations aren't positional, right? <laughs> I take that back. You're right, Jack. I'm sorry. My bad. Um, I'm going to throw in Rust just for you. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Totally read that wrong. But still, I don't like what you all too much. I want to try out her ultimate. Woo! That looked awesome. I mean, it got a four minute cooldown, but that's because we don't have any equipment on her yet. And I think I've seen worse cooldowns. I so want to try her out with uh, my real speedy formation. And the Electrum uh, scavenging ability is great. Yeah, three to four chests per week. That adds up to something. That's uh, that's a hundred and fifty per year. If I did the math right, yeah, I did. A bit over, like one hundred and eighty, maybe. Yeah. Oh, and we've got one champion slot left, and we're gonna use Melf just to race through. And we're gonna use Shandy to be even faster. Oh, okay. Now we are flowing and we can use even Deacon. Deacon! That little bugger. I so love him. Cute little cobalt. Yep, yeah. okay. That's what I call fast. And the transition bow is really great. Okay, now the speed potion ran off. But no worries, we're gonna make it. Pretty sure. No, definitely sure about that. Yay, we've got her first feet. 
Okay, selflessnessnessnessnessness. That's a no brainer. Uh, the inspire specialization by 20%. The ensemble cast and spotlight episode by 20%. And uh, a cooldown on her base attack. Uh, like with um, Kent. What else have we got? The be right back ability. Yeah, continue a while bit. By 80%. So that's going to speed up things even more. And we got another base attack cooldown by one point uh, zero point twenty five and zero point five. So we got a cooldown of zero point seventy five. I'm that good at math. Yeah. Diner and Ursa for speed runs? How so? I didn't get it. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I can understand Diner for some extent, to some extent, but not Win Ursa. Woohoo! Not that guy again. Okay. Excluding Diana, only the youngest champion, the most dexterous champion, and champion with the lowest total stats can deal damage. <coughs> Diana can also deal damage. Yeah, if he uh, gets them with his ultimate, right. Or her ultimate? His ultimate? Her ultimate. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, that could work. If you place a familiar on on Ven Ursa's um, ultimate, that might work. Yeah. Okay, I I I can see that. Go away. Um, <laughs> sorry, not you, not you, not you. <laughs> uh, boof. um, oh, come on. Uh, Shandy. Chalak slow. Ouch. Ouch. Go away. Uh, blue, and then we're gonna have, I don't know. Ooh. 
I can imagine that you can uh, push through. I'm gonna try that now. You know, I, I'm 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 totally going to try it. Uh, okay, so he does deal damage. Front deck. Then we're gonna put Oh, shoot. This is a horrible formation, really. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, one more upgrade for Vin Ursus Ultimate. And I'm I'm gonna try I'm try that. And use Steiner, why not? Okay, I'm gonna place a familiar now on the ultimate. Did I hit something yet? Favorite foe construct? Yay! Because all those uh, moderns are constructs, so that's that's pretty good. Uh, a yeah. Just going to race through once again. Let's put then I don't know where. Yeah, I like that maybe. Yeah. So we need an Armor breaking champion, and that's gonna be Rosie. And of course, she doesn't deal any damage. Yeah, uh, nope, because I never do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nope. Nope. <clears throat> I mean, I only got like uh, two or three golden epics and um, I actually got them by accident. <laughs> or so I, I think I got them by accident. Got down already. Thank you. Huh. Ha 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 ha. This can't deal damage. Yes, he does. Okay, it's still only constructs. And I really need Warden. 
because everyone loves warden. Ah, come on. Doesn't matter all too much at those uh, low areas. <clears throat> Man, I'm tired. Probably just, you're not tired. Yeah, 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 thank you. Yeah, I'm old. <laughs> I totally am allowed to be tired. It's definitely going to be Chahira and Evelyn for me. Yep, definitely Chahira and Evelyn. And Grandma, of course. Oh, I've got three slots. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, sure. Huh, okay. Chahira, uh, Evelyn, and uh, Criddle. Yeah. I need I need better tanks and more tanks. <laughs> In fact I need more tanks, but um yeah. I mean Diana isn't a tank, so I'm gonna stick to better tanks at least. Let's see. It is hard, yeah. I mean, even, ah, well, not yet. Well, Quillac, huh. Evandra is a, is a great goldfine champion, actually. She, she is a really great goldfine champion. Um, Especially at higher areas, uh, when you don't one hit kill everything uh, with her find the secret stash, yeah, find her find the secret stash ability. Quillek is a, is an okay healer. I don't really use. Nordrum. Nordrum. Um, and I don't really need him anyway. But yeah, let's see. Still got time. Still got time. You unlock new characters calling the on something the place has ten positions as well. From wait wait what went away too quickly. Okay, sometimes the face has 10 positions available from 11 onwards. Do you change them for someone you already have? Or do you not change the formation? Most slots you Um. 
ये बिकॉज यू ओनली हैव टेन स्लॉट्स इनफॉर्मेशन एट मैक्स There is one information you only have nine, but ten is the maximum. So I don't know if I misunderstood your question. If so, sorry. Russ is doing damage. Nice. Uh, champions buffed. Oh, that depends. And you know what? You can always ask <laughs> if you don't, if you didn't un understand something, you can always ask. Like mine while we add it. <laughs> oh, just kidding, boys. Just kidding. Love you all. But it was just too tempting, you know. This is this is dragging on this adventure. Uh, yeah, I do have a I do have a sp speedy formation. I can show you. I usually do that in Rescue in the Jungle uh, because it hasn't get. Ah, okay, that's the wrong core, but you can always switch back. Um, Filora.
Then we have uh, Lysel. Then we have BBEG. Then we have. We can use Sentry. Then we gonna use um, what was it? Uh, who was it? Shandy. Yeah, let's recall her. And let's have a. Let's have, in fact, uh, who was it? Virgil. Yeah, that's actually already a pretty. Pretty nice speedy formation. But oh forgot Sentry and forgot Thilara. Uh, uh, nope. I now have six. So that's that's my speed information because as you can see you only need eight enemies to progress oh we forgot human ha ah, sure we forgot human always forgetting human And maybe even use Wyconia. And use click damage, of course. But that's not all of them. Out of farm when you're in the beginning. Uh, definitely Shandy. Absolutely, absolutely go for Shandy. Because even Shandy alone got uh, a 50% uh speed bonus and make sure you place always at least uh five familiars so the chests open automatically and you don't have to click them But I really love um, Lysel and 
uh, her straight to the point ability. It doesn't kick in always right in time, but when it kicks in right in time, you have to defeat one enemy to to advance to the next area and that's that's the fastest you can get and you can even do that with click damage so yeah that's that's pretty pretty nice in my books Well, you can sw swap out BBEG with Nahara, but uh, BBEG's uh, railroad ability is is awesome. I think it it halves the uh, requirement for each uh, area, so that's that's pretty cool. I think. That's yeah, that's my favorite favorite speedy formation. And make sure you place human in in front. So you'd get Bruno Celeste, Naeli, Chalaxa, Calliope, Ashara, Minz, Gdalina, etc. Uh, you can't. <laughs> because they're sitting on the same bench slot even. But... Other than that... Mm, Yeah, it's a good start. Those uh, are good stamp uh, uh, st stampions to start. Yeah, champions to start with. But I would really, really, really get Shandy. Let's complete that adventure and switch back to our beloved Diana. Cheers. So, um, who else is out there? <laughs> Looks like today people are not that shy, but there are still some shy people around. Sukoxi? Darla, Ro, where is everyone? I mean, yeah, Jack and Fee are here. That's, that's great. <laughs> oh, come on, 30 areas to go. And I'm gonna level up rest. Ah, the favor increase is slow. That's really slow. Fireball! Ah, lightning bolt. I mean, looks exactly the same as Nixie's fireball. 
ไฟบอลดาวน์วิดยูแฟนคิวส่วนอันสวิตช์มาไปทีชันดี้อีกแล้วเอ่อไหนอ uh, ๋อ where do, where do we place her like that yeah looks good the only problem with Shandy is that her dash breaks As soon as the formation gets hit, but um, if you are using uh, on a, a campaign where where you've got high favor and you use click damage, that's absolutely no problem at lower areas. So I can totally go to area three hundred something and uh, Tomb of Annihilation running on k a l a m o r s favor uh, with Shandy not or the formation not even get hit once just using click damage. And I really love it. <laughs> okay, twenty areas to go. I'm just checking something real quick in the background. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Whoa, that javelin looks awesome. Great ultimate. Oh man, I am uh, really effing tired. <laughs> But I'm just gonna finish those last ten areas, and then I'm calling it a day for today. Yeah, because I'm really tired. I didn't have a time a uh, day off. Well, technically yes, but.
I did do some work. Uh, the favor increases. Yeah, it got better. Then. What was first? You mean that javelin? That ultimate? The whirling looked, looked great, yeah. Let's try that again. Let's try that again in the next and last boss area. Then whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Wait, what? 175 okay okay let's l let's do those 50 more areas i mean why not eh uh. Her next feed is at area uh, level 750. Okay. Ouch. That hurt, man. That really hurt. And we already get a whopping 72.76% boost. It's not bad for the first evening. I mean, it doesn't go up as fast as at the beginning, but yeah, I've seen worse. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe I should smoke more. Just to get rid of the coughing. Yay, chest. Hooray. Oh, come on, I'm just using click damage now. Yeah, yeah, that looks way faster now. Way faster. Love it. And when do I get that? Okay, that, well. She has a 0.5% chance of scavenging one electron chest for each bus. Okay, that's not much, but having her in the background party and not having to care about anything else, that might just work. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I love that javelin.
Okay, 25 arrows to go. And when Yeah, bad luck with his ultimate, or her ultimate, I'm sorry, her ultimate. I accidentally misgendered a champion. Twenty areas to go. Let's quickly check on Strongheart, but I don't think there has been a change with the event tokens. Nope. Nope. There hasn't. That's a good idea. Oh, oh I even got them. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, at least 70.5%. Nope. No other feats. But to be perfectly honest, I actually prefer our, um, gold find at the moment because I'm not using her as a as a speed champion anyway. Well, in fact, I'm not using her anyway. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Slowly but surely we're getting somewhere. And that Chevelin again? Shall we? Yes, we shall. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> I wonder how she doesn't hit herself with it. Okay, people. Jack and Fee and everyone else who was there and wasn't that talkative. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Hey everyone. Because I am tired. <laughs> Last boss for today. And down it goes.
Yeah, that's an odd formation. I still can't get over it, but okay. <laughs> Everyone, have fun, whatever you do. I'll see you uh, tomorrow, maybe, or maybe on Friday. Not on Saturday. Um, that's, oh, um, yeah, tomorrow or on Friday. Okay, everyone. Have fun. See you soon. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.